We are here in East Westphalia and as you possibly know, there is not only automation industry, but also many other great industry, for example, the window construction industry. And I would like to talk about that. And for that, I have invited an expert. Ludger, please tell me, how do you build a window? Okay, how to build a window. So it starts by uh, taking the dimensions of the window at the construction site. Yes. And now every uh, window uh, uh, might be different in the size, but also in the design. And uh, those um, uh, data are given to a, a software, special uh, window manufacturing software, which creates data. Uh, and we take those data uh, into our machine and uh, we create um, um, machining um, macros of these data mm -hmm. and then we, our machine knows what to do. Yeah. Okay, so, so you build these profiles yeah. and how many profiles do you need for a window? So for, for a simple uh, pro, uh, window we need uh, at least uh, eight uh, parts. That means uh, four for the frame and four for the sash. Yes. And uh, yes, and um, I think it's important to know that the, the windows are built from row bars of uh, different profile shapes. Here's one one uh, example of a profile shape. Yes. And. Um, it's important to uh, get um, as much um, parts from a raw bar as possible uh, to avoid uh, material waste. Yeah? Yes, then for that reason, the sequence of the uh, manufacturing is um, not accordingly to, to each pro uh, window. So we built a special uh, sequence, uh, which um, uh, th that means this, the software fits the single parts into the raw bar to avoid uh, such a material waste. All right, yeah. yes. And what are the steps from the robot to the yeah, finished so, profile? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we try to have as much um, process steps as possible at the robot. That means, for example, the, the, the milling, the drilling uh, processes are done uh, at the, at the robot. Mm -hmm. uh, when all these processes are, are done, then we cut the profile. For example, we have mitre cuts in under uh, 40 degrees. Yes. Um, it could also be a 90 degree or each uh, uh, other, uh, other um, angle. Um, that depends to the, to the window design. So the, the machine knows by uh, using these uh, data, knows what to do. Yeah? Okay, so there are many different steps from yeah. the raw bar to the finished profile. What should the machine look like to do s such steps? Yeah. Um, it's important that the machine is uh, most flexible yes. in that regard. That means because the sequence, we don't have uh, um, um, identical parts are, uh, in every uh, step or in every um, uh, cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, that means the machine must be so flexible to handle this different uh, parts. So we have uh, um, um, really a one piece flow in the machine. Yes. And, um, um, and our machines are modular, so, uh, and we create the uh, machine concept um, accordingly to the customer demands. That means uh, we can combine, configure uh, different uh, process modules yes. or to a completed solution. Yeah. Okay. Wow, this is really interesting. Yeah, that's really, uh, from the automation point of view, that is really uh, very, um, very demanding. Yeah? Yes, yeah. yes, of course. Okay, thank you, Ludger. Thank you.